I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Bill Murray is a living legend, a member of a dying breed, the comedy mavericks of the 1970s and 80s who created such classics as Caddyshack, Meatballs, Stripes, and of course Ghostbusters. However, there is even more than meets the eye with this notoriously reclusive actor. And we here at Joe Blow have found some things that you may not have known about the one and only Bill Murray. 22 things, actually, because uh, 22, it's a good number. Why not? Aren't you Bill Murray, man? That's but you Bill Murray? Yeah, I'm Bill Murray, but uh, let's keep that just between us, all right? I just want to take this time to say thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you click that bell to get notifications for future content. Now, back to the show. Number one, he may have one of the best cameos of all time in Zombieland, but in real life he is also a fan of the random cameo, as he is famous for just walking into random events and enjoying himself. There are many stories like this. He walked into a house party, drank some vodka, did the dishes, and left. As well as randomly showing up to a guy's bachelor party in South Carolina, giving a speech on love and marriage. Number two, he's no fan of taking selfies with people though. One time on a rooftop party, he was bombarded by a group of fans, so Bill grabbed all of their phones and threw them off the rooftop. Number three, Bill Murray almost provided the voice of Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story. Number four, a young 20-year-old Bill Murray was arrested at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago when he tried to sneak nine pounds of marijuana through security. It was illegal, by the way. <coughs> it's a little harsh. <coughs> Number five, one of Bill Murray's favorite movies is Kung Fu Hustle. He called the film a supreme achievement in the modern age of comedy. And yeah, it's pretty funny. Number six, Bill Murray was hanging out with members of the Wu-Tang Clan at a bar, and instead of just drinking, they decided to go behind the bar and work, only serving tequila shots. Number seven, he was the very first guest David Letterman ever had on his late night show. And to keep it perfectly bookended, Bill Murray was David Letterman's last guest as well. Number eight, some have said that Bill Murray is difficult to work with, as he did not get along with several of his cast members, including Richard Dreyfuss on What About Bob and Lucy Liu on Charlie's Angels. Bill Murray's temper even caused Dan Aykroyd to give him the nickname The Murricane on account of his mood swings. Number nine. During the filming of Where the Buffalo Roam, he and Hunter S. Thompson had a Houdini competition. Hunter S. Thompson tied Bill Murray to a chair and threw him in a pool. But it turns out Bill Murray is no Houdini, and Hunter had to jump in and save him. Number 10, Bill Murray was almost cast as Forrest Gump. Number 11, he has no agent or manager, simply an 800 number where people call and leave their pitches on an answering machine that he rarely checks. We're ready to believe you! Number 12. Bill Murray has quite the impressive resume, but if you look at his IMDb, there are two films that stick out like sore thumbs, Garfield and its sequel. Murray says that he never read the script, but he was looking to do an animated movie, and when he got the script, he saw that it was written by Joel Cohen, C-O-H-E-N, and Bill Murray thought, yeah, I want to work with the Cohen brothers. They make amazing movies. But it turns out that little H in Cohen means a lot, as it was not one of the guys who wrote Raising Arizona, Big Lebowski, No Country for Old Men, Fargo, and, you know, all those others. It was the guy who wrote Cheaper by the Dozen and Daddy Daycare. Bottom line here is that the Garfield movies were not made by the Coen brothers. 
Number 13. He's part owner of the River Dogs, a minor league team in Charleston, and once during a rain delay, he used the tarp as a slip and slide. Number 14. He was almost in Little Miss Sunshine, the Steve Carell character. Number 15. On his first collaboration with filmmaker Wes Anderson, Rushmore, Anderson needed to get a helicopter in the scene, but the studio would not cough up the money to shoot it. So Bill Murray stepped in and opened up his checkbook and gave Wes Anderson $25,000. And Bill Murray was only receiving $9,000 to do Rushmore. So it actually cost Bill Murray $16,000 to star in Rushmore. And wouldn't you know it, this $25,000 helicopter shot ended up on the cutting room floor. However, we all know that it was well worth it. Number 16. In the end of the movie Kingpin, where Bill Murray's character bowls three strikes in a row, well, that was not movie magic. Bill Murray actually did this in one take. Number 17. Bill Murray played a single game of professional baseball with the Grays Harbor Loggers minor league team and got a hit in his two at-bats. Number 18. After Chevy Chase left Saturday Night Live, Bill Murray stepped in to replace him. When Chevy Chase came back to host, he and Bill Murray got into a verbal and physical altercation. The two ferocious comedians reportedly had to be physically pulled apart from each other. Hello, I'm Bill Murray. Uh, you can call me Billy, but uh, around here everybody just calls me the new guy. Number 19. Bill Murray and Harold Ramis were a comedy duo for the ages. Crafting such classics as Meatballs, Caddyshack, Stripes, and Ghostbusters. However, in 1993, the duo would come together to make the now classic Groundhog Day. And the making of this amazing movie would lead to these two not talking for 21 years. These two fellas clashed over the direction of the film, with Harold Ramis wanting it to be a more studio-friendly, warm, romantic comedy, while Bill Murray wanted to make a more existential, darker film about a man in crisis. Bill Murray and Harold Ramis reportedly could not even talk to each other on set without it developing into shouting matches. The fighting got so bad that it led to Harold Ramis one day grabbing Bill Murray by the shirt collar and throwing him up against a wall. And it wasn't until 2010 when Harold Ramis was on his deathbed, that the two made amends. One day, completely out of the blue, Bill Murray showed up at Harold Ramis' house with a police escort and a box of donuts. And the two spent hours together talking and laughing the way they used to, back in the good old days. Hello. Number 20. He accidentally broke Robert De Niro's nose while making Mad Dog and Glory. Number 21. Bill Murray almost had a part in Animal House. At the time, the film was going to star Chevy Chase, Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray, and John Belushi. However, the head honchos at Saturday Night Live at the time did not want all of their cast members missing from SNL for that amount of time. Number 22. Bill Murray was not originally supposed to be in Ghostbusters. The role was originally written for John Belushi. But after his tragic, untimely passing, Murray was cast, and the rest, as they say, is history. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass! So there you have it, 22 things you may not have known about the comedic, renegade, rebel, warrior, poet that is Bill Murray. I even almost kind of interviewed him on a red carpet one time, and let me tell you, it was one of the most amazing and awkward and scary moments of my life. Word. Word. Word, man. Bill motherfucking Murray. It's crazy, yo. Thank you for watching our show. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our Joe Blow Videos channel. Tell your friends who like this sort of content, and turn on the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest videos. 
We're an independent company and we appreciate all your support.